Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, sorry for that really loud truck. <laughs> this video is about how my eating disorder manifests and the development of my eating disorder. So trigger warning, I am going to be talking about numbers, if you're going to be triggered by that, please don't watch this video, thanks for understanding. Oh, I've had a rough day so far. This morning I took my meds and I came back upstairs and I immediately threw up. So I haven't had my morning meds because I literally came back up and threw up. So I haven't had my morning caliperidol. I haven't had my morning glyphosate. I haven't had my morning... What else do I take in the morning? I don't know what I take in the morning. Lanzoprazole. Bisoprolol and the glyphosate. Obviously, I've had my insulin, but it's been a bit of a nightmare morning. My head feels like the static everywhere, and it's not fun. But I wanted to make a video because I'm going on holiday with my grandparents. We're, I'm, meet, I'm going up to Wolverhampton, they're meeting me in Wolverhampton, going back to theirs for a few days, then on Thursday we're travelling down to Somerset until the Tuesday and I don't have a video for the Monday and I can't upload one at the caravan because it has no Wi-Fi. And while I would do it on my data, I need that for watching things when I fall asleep. So yeah. Little Little thing. That's why I'm making this video. It's top of my list now, so I may as well do it. My eating disorder really started around the age of twelve. I say that because I, at twelve I was wasn't eating at school. I wasn't eating breakfast. The only meal I ate was dinner, which. not the best. I was really cutting down on snacking and rather than getting a lunch I pocketed the money. <laughs> that money did buy me great joy though. Bought me some nice headphones back when phones had headphone slots. Now back when I was struggling Tumblr was my safe space and I'm not going to give out the username because it's still out there and it's toxic as fuck. But on my Tumblr I followed a lot of eating disorder accounts and honestly I just reposted anything that I thought was an inspiration. Like the fad diets. It just wasn't a safe space. It did trigger me a lot and it triggered me into my anorexia. Now I didn't have anorexia until I was 14 but it started to really impact me at school. I passed out in a science lesson because I hadn't eaten in two days but my anorexia manifested in a very strong way where it was telling me constantly not to eat and I listened. I just didn't eat. I made excuses at dinner, saying that I was going to go out and get something with friends, or saying that I was eating at a friend's house, when really we were just starving ourselves. Because my close friend at the time was also struggling with anorexia, and we bonded over that, and we used to follow each other's ED Instagram. basically with an account where I posted really triggering details. My lowest weight was 5 stone 2. See I was a size 4 and a size 6 and how that affects me now is I want to get back down to a smaller weight so I can fit in my size 6 clothes which realistically isn't going to happen. I'd be happy with a size 8 currently I'm a size 10 so it's only one more size 
and I'll be happy. My goal is to get to 55 kilograms and then stop. But the issue of losing weight and me is it's addictive. And this is why I'm being so careful with it. Because I don't want to fall back into the grips of my eating disorder. I'm losing the weight healthily, like I'm still eating lunch, I'm eating dinner. Last night I had a pizza. Which, that's not great for weight loss. <laughs> but I wanted to eat something. I didn't want to get wet. Because it was raining yesterday. My eating disorder now manifests itself where it's trying to put limits on the calories I eat. It's having the diet cone. It's just a really hard thing to try and explain. My DEDNOS, also known as OSFED now, is something that has controlled my life for about, all in all, I've struggled with an eating disorder for a very long time. And I'm 26 now. I turned 27 this year. So obviously I want to stay a healthy weight. I just want to lose 8 kilograms. Sooner rather than later. Having an eating disorder is by no means fun. When I was anorexic, I was eating about 600 calories a day. Sometimes less. Never more. Buffet meals were perfect for me because I didn't have to eat. I could just have a plate with a few bits on and it looked like I was eating. I was pretty good at hiding my eating disorder. My mum didn't find out until my school phoned my mum that I'd fainted in class because I hadn't eaten for two days. Which I kind of expected them to call her. I mean, of course they're going to call my mum. My mum didn't really interact too much. She just asked me outright, do you have a problem with eating? And I said no. <laughs> and the answer is yes. But manifest, the way my eating doesn't manifest itself, it goes straight to restrictive practices and it does fall back into not eating, only eating stuff below a certain amount of calories, diet coke, and that is something I am struggling with, I'm like right now struggling with. But yeah, that's all I've got for this video, if you're new subscribe, join the growing family, sorry this one's a bit of a downer, it's not got a positive ending, but I am fighting it as much as I can, and I am eating, I just had sausage and mash makes me very happy because it's my favourite meal. If you don't want to please me, just invite me to sausage and mash and I'll be there. <laughs> I, it's my favourite meal, what can I say? Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you are new, I've already said that. And stay strong, stay safe, stay sober. Peace.